Until today, the women had remained anonymous, but they have had it. They're all listed as Jane Doe's in the lawsuit that they launched, but now they've decided to go public. After the Johnson City manager, Kathy Ball, held her own press conference pointing out that some of the victims took illegal drugs while at Williams' apartment. In their view, that city manager effectively blamed them, blamed the victim, victims for being raped while they were unconscious. Take a look. I read Ms. Ball's words that the victims were, quote unquote, comparatively at fault for their, quote unquote, mistaken judgment. I was outraged and I was distraught. I am one of the 52 women whom Sean Williams sexually assaulted while taking sexually explicit photographs of me. My name also appears on the rate list. That was hard stuff to listen to. Kathy Ball, the Johnson City manager, released this statement, which reads in part, protecting victims and the community is the top priority of the Johnson City Police Department. We encourage anyone who has suffered a sexual assault to come forward to a law enforcement agency or to our Family Justice Center, end quote. This is vital for victims to get the help they need and the justice they deserve there, end quote. The alleged rapist, Sean Williams, is currently facing some pretty other serious issues. Separate state and federal charges of child rape and child porn. But he is not facing any charges relating to the 50-plus video rapes in Johnson City. His first trial in federal court is now set for May 21st. I am now joined by Michaela Evans. On September 19th, 2020, she was inside Sean Williams' apartment after a night of drinking when Williams claims that she somehow just fell out of a five-story window, nearly to her death. The investigation that followed led to many of the charges and allegations against Williams. Michaela, it's good to have you back on the program. Thank you for, for doing this. I wanted to get your reaction to that press conference today and those women who so bravely and, you know, so forcefully said, this cannot stand. We were victims of this man. And whatever happened beforehand, whatever partying anyone does, doesn't mean rape is fair. I totally agree with that. I mean, no matter what you're doing or who you're doing it with, rape is not right no matter what. Michaela, do you feel as though you and these other women have been ignored by the police? And I know that you're not one of the uh, rape victims in this you know, this cachet of 52 plus you know, rapes on video, but you you nearly died. You broke over 100 bones in your body falling out that window, uh, whether it was fell or pushed. Um, do you feel as though you were properly investigated? Do you think these women have the same story that you do? Um, definitely. I mean, some vary a little bit different, but I mean, obviously, everybody's not going to be exactly the same. But yeah. I don't think they investigated my case at all. And since some of the detectives and officers' names have been released in that last lawsuit, several of their names are on several of my papers, um, including um, their statements that they took from them, the questions they asked. That's pretty much who was on those papers, uh, my toxicology report, my rape kit, all this. Do you believe there's something to the claim that these women are making in this um, explosive press conference that there were officials with Johnson City who were literally on the take, receiving money every week to stay quiet about complaints regarding Sean Williams? Yeah, I'm one of those being my lead detective. Tell me more about your experience and whether you've heard any whisper rumors where you might come in with evidence that that would help that case i mean 250 rape cases filed against him is is astounding i don't know that i've ever heard of anyone with that many rape cases rape accusations what what else do you know and what evidence might you have to support what they're saying about police being on the take 
I think my stuff wasn't done correctly. Like my mother requested me to be tested for date rape drugs because she was alerted to be done that to be done because he was infamous for using date rape drugs and uh, raping women around Johnson City. But nobody would ever press charges to prove it. I was never tested for any kind of date rape drugs, and half of my um, rape kit was not. It was tested, but it was not performed. It says no examination performed, and three. It was three different things, which is one to test for foreign DNA, which obviously would be his. And they swabbed my hands, but they did not test my hands to see if I like pushed somebody off of me or anything like that. And I was told that even if so, if they had or whatever, that um, he, they could argue that. Um, of course, his DNA was on me because once I was on the ground, he eventually come down and put his hands on me. And there is a crime scene photo with my blood covering his entire hands. Michaela Evans, I'm I'm so thankful that you, you know, have come forward to, to talk. Um, I'm thankful for the women coming forward as well. And I think, you know, we together will watch to see what happens to this man. He is in a world of trouble right now. Um, so I will call you back and we'll see what happens in terms of justice uh, for all of you with regard to Sean Williams. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.